I'm Judy Shaw for NYSC Floor Talk. Joining me today is Tracy Robinson. She is president and CEO at Canadian National Railway. Tracy, wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining Thanks, me today. Thanks, Judy. It's great to be here with you. Thank you. So now, tell me about the company and the role it plays in the North American economy. Listen, CN is one of the largest railroads in North America. We have 19,000 miles of railroad that connects the West Coast in Canada to the East Coast to the Gulf Coast in the United States. And railways are fundamental to the functioning of the economy and the growth of the economy. We move about 300 million tons a year. Wow. Consumer products coming in, exports and natural resources going out, and everything in between. Wow, okay. All right, so now you are recently appointed as CEO yeah. of the company. You became CEO back in March. Now tell me, what have been your priorities since becoming CEO of the it's a great, Firstly, it's a great honor to be in this company. <laughs> it's one of the iconic companies, certainly in, in Canada and also in North America. It, you know, it, because we're so fundamental to the economic growth of the continent, it's important that we run a really good railroad. Tight, efficient, deliver good service to our customers. So the first priority is to get our railroad running again, doing what we need to do for our customers and the supply chain partners. The second one is position us so that we have the people that we need to do this, not only now, but to grow. And the third one is to think about, partner with our customers, where we can help the economy grow in the future. Where do we need to put infrastructure? Who do we partner with so that we can enable the growth of the economy of this continent? Yeah. All right, now you touched on this. Um, many view the rails as a good barometer of the health of the economy. Um, how, what, what, tell me about some of the signs that you're seeing right now. Are you seeing any softness in certain markets? Listen, we touch, Judy, every industry pretty much in North America. So we tend to see things first. I would say right now it's a bit of a mixed bag. Those areas that are more consumer oriented, we're seeing a little bit of softness. If it's the consumer goods coming over from Asia or other places uh, for consumption, that's getting a little bit soft right now. There's a lot of inventory. You know, we're seeing housing starts fall, so we're going to see that, we expect, in lumber. But there's some other, you know, sectors that are very strong. We've got a strong grain crop. There's a lot of bulk commodities that are being export, exported for consumption around the world. We've got strong metallurgical coal volumes. That's important right now for the world as well from an energy perspective. A lot of our energy volumes are holding up very well. And our automotive sector is continuing to be strong. We're still all buying cars and, and trucks, and uh, there's a lot of inventory replenishment to do there. So it's a bit of a mixed bag, softness in some areas, considerable mm -hmm. strength in others. Okay. All right, now ESG, we know it's a top mm -hmm. priority for many. Um, talk to me about your position when it comes to ESG. Well, firstly, fundamentally, you know, moving long-haul freight is 75% more efficient from an emissions perspective on rails than trucks. So just fundamentally, we're a big part of the solution. But we also want to continually reduce our emissions. Over the last since 1993, we've reduced emissions by 43%. Most of those come out of locomotives, so we're working very hard, technology, collaboration, innovation, to continue to reduce those. First railroad in North America to make a commitment on net zero by 2050, and uh, you know we're making great progress. All right, well, it sounds like you are. Wonderful to talk with you, Tracy. Thank you so much for joining me on Floor Talk today. Such a pleasure, thanks for having us here today.